Hello everyone and welcome back to Whimsy Creek Art. Okay, so this video is going to be the very first video for my new series that is going to be this whole month of May. And this is the first video and it's going to be all about the supplies. That's just the supplies you need for a basic paint pour. And I'm going to let you know where you get it and what supplies we're going to use this month. So you can go out and get these supplies for yourself and do some of these paint pours right along with me. All right, so what I use, and everybody uses different things, so this is just going to be what we're going to use for this month for this beginner paint pour series. So what I have here, we'll just start off with the big one to get it out of the way. I have here a 10 pack of Artist Loft 8x10 canvases. These are found at Michael's Craft Store. They're about $19.99 and sometimes they have them on sale. They happen to today, May 2nd, have them on sale for $10, half off. So you get 10 of them in here. They're already pre-gessoed. You don't have to do anything. They're ready to go. Always a real good quality, a great beginner canvas to start learning to paint for. So these are eight inches by 10 inches. This is Artist Loft, and this is the Super Value Pack from Michaels. So these are the canvas we'll be using this month. Let me get that out of the way so I can get a few other things in here and show you. All right. So I use a lot of different types of paint. I use a lot of different types of silicone, but this month I'm gonna just show you one way that everybody can source these products pretty easily. So here is our supply list. Let's hope that shows up for you here. Here is the supply list. Okay, so what we got on our supply list is we have cups. We're gonna use this size cup. This is about a six ounce to eight ounce cup. These are found right at Walmart. This is what we're gonna mix the paint in. At Walmart again, you can find the popsicle sticks or craft sticks. This is in the craft department. These are just plastic cups there at Walmart. So we're gonna use this type of cups and the stir sticks to mix our paint. We're gonna use this paint from Walmart. This is apple barrel paint. These are the colors I've chosen for this month. And this is their essentials. And it has uh, 12 colors in here. Some nice, um, pretty much all the colors you would need. I did go ahead and grab a couple just to supplement that, and I'll go over those here in a minute. And this is a pack you can get at Walmart, Apple Barrel brand. And this here is $5, $4.97 I think it was. I'll have listed below the individual colors. Like this is Nutmeg and this is Laguna. So I'll have these all listed in the description, the actual, each individual colors. If you don't get the um, multi-pack and you buy them individually, I'll have that listed. So this does not have any purple. So I did go ahead and pick up Velvet Crush. Now these are again all at Walmart. I use normally in my pores, I use all different brands. But for this month, for this series of beginner paint pours, I'm just going to show you with these paints that everybody can get at their local Walmart. All right, so Apple Barrel Velvet Crush. And then Royal Violet. So I picked those two purples to add to this, the multi-pack. This also Key West. So these run about 50 cents. These are the small two, two ounce bottles. Um, Key West does come in a small two ounce bottle, but they also have eight ounce bottles of some of the basic colors. Not all the colors come in this, but the, these ones are $2.50. And this color I use quite a bit, so I went ahead and got a big one. Now I did grab an antique white just to give us kind of a cream color to work with. And I did grab a gloss white. Now the gloss, the gloss ones, the outdoor gloss, outdoor indoor gloss, these are run about a dollar. They're about double the price, but you do want to, now there's a white in here. We do not want to use that white for our paint pouring. 
that white tends to crack. I don't know what it is. All these other colors work great, but the white tends to crack if you use it. But if you go ahead and pay a little bit more, there at Walmart and you get the gloss, it doesn't tend to crack for me. So go ahead and grab the gloss of that. So what we're gonna work with this month is these 12 colors and these five. So 17 colors this month. That's what we're gonna work with. Now the silicone we're gonna work with I do use other silicones in my other pores, but this is what we're gonna work with this month because this can be picked up at Walmart. This is in the um, automotive department at Walmart. It's heavy duty silicone. All right, and it's in a spray with like a um, straw nozzle. You're gonna want this heavy duty silicone. This is like $3, $2, it's, it's two to three dollars, pretty reasonable. You're gonna want a torch. This is the torch that the Walmart carries. I do um, sometimes, this is a torch, this is also a creme brulee torch. This can be purchased on Amazon. You don't need that though, you, could, you can get the one at Walmart to just start out. Uh, I think this one runs about eight to $10 from Walmart. So, so far we have our paint, our torch, our cups, our stir sticks, our silicone we also gonna need and we went over our canvases we're also gonna need this now this is the one item you're not gonna be able to get at Walmart you're gonna need to pick this up at Home Depot or Lowe's and this is Floetrol it's by a company called um, Flood you want to make sure you get the latex based Floetrol this is your pouring medium this is the pouring medium we're gonna use this month. And the next video coming out in this series will be how to mix our paint. The paint recipe we're gonna use and how to mix the paint. But right now, this video is just the supplies. Okay, so you, this is a gallon jug. So this month for this paint series, that's what we're gonna use, is this gallon of Floetrol. Then I also did pick up this, um, it's a hundred pack and it's about $2.50. And that is from um, the Great Value brand. It's a hundred of these. They're uh, three ounce cups, because you need this three ounce cups. We're gonna mix our paint in these cups. Then we're gonna put the paint, layer it into these cups and use these cups as our flip cups, our dirty cup for our dirty pours. And I'll explain what all those different techniques are in the upcoming videos. I'll have a video all about the lingo and how to use all this. This video is just the supplies. So here I wrote down real quick. You're gonna, you can buy everything at Walmart except for the flow trawl. It has to be purchased at Home Depot or Lowe's or any home improvement store. And then I did get my canvases at Michael's. You can pick up your canvas anywhere. You can get them at Walmart, actually. But I really like the super value packs there at, um, at the uh, Michaels. Okay, so what we're also going to need is we're just going to use some um, yogurt cups. You know, just recycle the ones you already have. Or some fruit cups or a pudding cup or any of these, you know, plastic cups that you might use at your household. You're just going to want to clean, wash these out and recycle these. You want to get some aluminum pans. These aluminum pans here come in like a two pack or a three pack from Walmart. So we got the cake. This one here is like a brownie size pan. And then this one here is 11 by 13 cake size pan. Right now it has a seahorse in it that I poured earlier today. But I just want to kind of show you an example. So this 11 by 13 cake pan fits perfectly our 8 by 10 canvases we'll be working with. You're going to take your, your yogurt cups or your um, pudding cups or any whatever you use in your house of so fruit cups and you're gonna put them upside down in your pans and then put your canvas on top and that's what we're gonna use to use to kind of hold our canvas up. 
So that's our, all of our supplies. You're also gonna need just a little bit of water, and I'll go over that when we, the next video on how to mix up the paint. But that's your supply list right there. You're gonna need the cups or squeeze bottles. I do use squeeze bottles, but for a beginner, go ahead and grab the cups. So you're gonna need cups, paint, flow trawl, you may need a little bit of water. You may not even need the water. 100, 100% silicone oil. We're going to be using this brand, this type, CRC Heavy Duty Silicone. And it's in an aerosol at Walmart. You're going to need a small torch, some canvas, recycled yogurt or fruit cups, some of the aluminum pans. They're from Walmart. Then eventually you're gonna need sealant, but we'll have a video all about the sealant later on. You don't have to grab the sealant yet because you're not gonna need that for a few weeks. So all right, that's the, the first episode of our Basics of Paint Pouring, and that'll be the new series for the month of May. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can grab some of these supplies and paint along with me and maybe learn a little bit about paint pouring. And so let me know if you have any questions and the description down in the description box will be a full list of all the supplies. All right, next episode for this series will be mixing the paint, how to mix the paint and the consistency you're looking for. All right, thank you so much and you have a great day.